determining what the amino acid sequence in any given protein is can be a tedious and complicated matter. Now thus far we discussed two processes that we can use to help us determine what the sequence is. So the less useful process is the Sanger degradation. This allows us to determine what the first amino acid in our sequence is. Now the more useful uh, process is the Edmund degradation and this process basically allows us to determine what the entire sequence of amino acids is in our peptide but the Edmund degradation only works as long as the peptide is relatively short. Now the problem with that is most proteins are in fact long. They consist of at least 100 amino acids and that means we cannot apply the Edmund degradation directly because it simply will not be effective. Now how exactly can we solve this problem of the protein being simply too long? Well, basically one solution is to actually cut our protein, our polypeptide, into smaller peptides by using special, type, uh, special types of molecules that cleave or break our polypeptide at specific locations on that chain. Now, the sequence of these smaller peptides can then be effectively determined by using our admin degradation because these peptides are now much smaller. So let's examine three important types of molecules that cleave our polypeptide. Many more exist, but we're only going to focus on these three. So we have our uh, cyanogen bromide that basically cleaves at the carboxy end of only one amino acid, methionine. And these two different types of molecules are basically biological enzymes that we use inside our body. We have chymotrypsin and trypsin. Now chymotrypsin is an enzyme that cleaves at the carboxy end of amino acids that contain aromatic side chains and this includes these three amino acids. We have tryptophan, phenylalanine, and tyrosine. Trypsin is another biological molecule that cleaves also at the carboxy end but it cleaves at the carboxy end of two amino acids of lysine and arginine. So basically by using these types of molecules we can break the polypeptide into smaller peptides and then we can use these smaller peptides we can use admin degradation and a little bit of logic to basically uncover what what the sequence of amino acids is. And to see what we mean, let's take a look at the following polypeptide. Now, this is simply one of the many examples that we're going to cover. Now, in this lecture, we're not going to discuss all the different types of biological molecules that we can use and we're not going to look at much detail in this type of process. When we get into biochemistry, in biochemistry we're going to discuss all the different types of enzymes and molecules we can use to cleave our polypeptides and we're, uh, and we're going to do many more of these examples. So let's suppose we have the following nine amino acid polypeptides. So we have phenylalanine, tyrosine, tyrosine, lysine, tryptophan, glycine, we have arginine, glutamine, and we have valine. Now to basically determine what the first amino acid is in our sequence, we take our peptide and we allow it to undergo the Sanger degradation. What that does is it literally cleaves every single peptide and it only labels the first amino acid. So it cleaves every peptide bond, every one of these bonds here and it only labels the first amino acid and so in this way we know that phenylalanine is the amino terminus of our peptide the first amino acid in our chain. Now 
Let's suppose we take this same peptide and now we mix it with our trypsin biological molecule. What that does is it cleaves it at our lysine and arginine at the carboxy end of those amino acids. So that means we cleave it at this location as well as at this location and we break down the polypeptide into these three smaller peptide molecules. So now from this step we know that because our phenylalanine is amino acid number one, this fragment number one must come first because this is the only fragment of these three fragments that contains the phenylalanine as amino acid number one. So basically notice that we know the first fragment must be the first in sequence because it contains our phenylalanine. The next question is, is this the second fragment that we connect to this or is this the second fragment that we connect to this? Now, to answer this question, we must realize that when we take this polypeptide and we mix it with trypsin, there are two cleavage positions, there are two locations where we break our bonds. Now, if this section, if this fragment was at the end, that means the arginine would be at the end. And whenever the arginine is at the end, trypsin cannot cleave at the carboxy end because there's nothing after this molecule, this amino acid, if it was at the end. And so if this was found here and this was found at the end, the final segment, then only one cleavage would take place. But because two cleavages take place this must be the middle one so this is the middle one and we have one two cleavages taking place and in this manner we can basically use a bit of logic and detective work to determine what our sequence is if we now take each one of these amino acids or if we take each one of these small peptides and we allow them to undergo the Edmund degradation we can then determine what the actual sequence of of our amino acids is. Now notice in this example I cheated a little bit because I basically began by knowing what our sequence is but usually we do not know what the sequence or what the amino acids are involved in our protein. The way we basically determine the number of different amino acids and the types of amino acids is by taking the molecule by hydrolyzing that molecule and then basically counting up the types and the quantity of each one of our amino acids and then we basically use the Sanger degradation, our different types of enzymes and molecules as well as the Edmund degradation to determine what the sequence of our amino acid is. So we're going to look much more into detail into how to solve these types of examples when we get into biochemistry. In these past four lectures, I simply wanted to introduce this, uh, this process and these concepts.